Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to continue what we did in the previous video, we are going to test the migrations. So as I said, in order to test the migrations, you need to enable exporting the schema. In the words database, you have to use this export schema and we need to allow the tests in here, where is the test, this test, to access this one. We need to set some Gradle thing in here. So we are going to go to our Gradle file and in the source set, so we are going to set this directory to be the assets of our uh, Android test file. So we're going to do the following. We're going to do get by name. Yeah, exactly. What we want is the Android test folder. And here for the asset folder, for the asset folder, we are going to change it to be CRC directory like that. And we are going to check our project directory slash schemas. Okay, this is the same thing we did here. Let's sync it. And that would work fine. Exactly, it is working fine. Awesome. As you can see, it's part of the schemas now. Now, what we want to do, yeah, let's go to create a test. Let's call it room migration test. Here you have the flexibility, you can do whatever you want. Usually we keep all the tests in the same uh, in the same class, so we can test everything. Or I don't know if you have a specific strategy that can work for your team, you are welcome to do it. Okay, so we are going to run with the Android JUnit for something. Yeah, this one. And let's start testing. We are going to create a test in here. Tests, migration, one, two, two. Here we need a helper to help us create databases at certain points and also to execute some queries in order to check. You can't use the DAO directly here to grab the data because DAO definition, it's working for the latest version. So you can't use it from one to two. You can use it always at the, at the last version. But you have, as I said, you have SQL queries. Here you need to have experiment with SQLite Open Helper, the previous way on how to insert the things into the database. It was a good way, but really we had to write a lot of boilerplate code and it was pruned to error. So here we need helper. So we let's create a rule and the rule be the DB test helper, migration helper. Yeah, okay, let's call it test helper. It will be a migration test helper, this one. And here you need to provide the following thing. These two are pretty old, right? We need to use the following. You need instrumentation and database model. You can also give it the auto migration spec, but it will, I think it will get it from here. Previous version uh, won't work. If you use this one or this one, the auto migration won't work. So here we need the instrumentation. So I think it's instrumentation registry dot get instrumentation and we need word database, okay? So it will be class of job. And now let's the fun begin. Usually we start testing from the bottom up, but let's go for it. Test helper, we want to create a database. Let's call it a word DB. You need to keep that name in order to use it later on. You can extract it into something if you want. It's not a problem. And here the version I want to create version one. That's pretty it. The result of this create database will give me what? An SQL support SQLite database. So I will sort it here as the database. I can Applied certain things, I can do the apply here and I can simply execute SQL. I can insert things in the database. I can do whatever I want. Let me insert things in the database. So here, here at this point, you have to know how your columns are named, especially the table, because if you did rename of the table at that point, you can't use it. Let's say, for example, at version three, the table is called words, right? But in the version one, it's called words table. So you need to use that version one thing. Please keep this in mind. So I'm going to do insert into our table, which is word table. You won't get any help, right? If you do whatever you want, it won't get any help. And here, what I'm going to do values, like this is the old way of doing a SQL, <laughs> it is values. And let's insert some values. It is one for the ID. It will be some word if you love to, and also the date. So for the date here, it will be just an end, so I can give any end. Usually it would be a date, a uh, date timestamp, but never mind. So here after that, what I can do is I can run the migration. What I need to do, I need to use also that test helper in order to run migration and validate. So here as a result, you give me a SQLite database. So I need to use that same name. That's why it makes a great idea in order to call it database name. Yeah, I can move it out. And now I can use that same database and run the migration. This is the version I want to go to version two. And there is this validate, validate job table, right? You can use it. Uh, you can set it to true if you want so. So this what simply will check is the following. Let me check it. The version I validate. 
if it's set to true, validation will fail if the database has unknown tables. So if it has unknown tables, migration will fail. Okay, and as a parameter, another parameter, you can add your migrations. Here at version one, we didn't have any uh, normal migration, manual migration. We have only automatic migration, so we don't have to pass anything. So here we need to create, well, we can get the same database. Okay, so it's a var, let's change it to var. That's working fine. Now at that point, what, what change is simply the column name. What you can do simply is query. Yeah, let's do some select everything from word table, right? You can do that. And this will give us cursor, if I remember exactly. So it will be cursor. I can assert equals the following. So let me just see what I'm going to assert. So that cursor, I remember, you can get column names as an array of string. Awesome. So what I can do, I can create another array of, another array of, uh, yeah, so equal, array equal, I think. This one, exactly. So the columns are like the following. So let me check what are the columns. So we have here the ID, the word, and created date. We must see only that. Created date as the last one, the ID like that, and of course, the word. But since the first time it was create date like that, so I'm going to run this test in order to see it fail, so I can put this here. Like I always try a version in which the test fails, so it shows me that I'm testing the right thing. The test must fail. You can also add a uh, cert in here to check if it is created. Okay, let me check exactly date and expected created, but it was created date, and that's it, the correct thing. Now the test would pass. Perfectly fine. Exactly, it's passing well. Okay, that's one way to test it. As I said, you can test it in many ways. You have the cursor, you have the underlying implementation. You can do whatever you want. That's the first test. Let's create completely the other same test, which is this one, migration from two to three. So we are creating a database at the second time. So it will be version two, and we are going to run migration to three. But here we need to provide the migrations, which is migration to the That simple. The API is very good. Now what we need to know is that we are going to test two things. We are going to test if there is a year in here, that would work fine. And also I'm going to check if the value of the first item, yes, because since we inserted this here, we need to check that the value of the last thing is zero because that's the default value. If you had to create a value, like I don't know, from, from the field of created date in order to derive the year, you have to test it the same thing. So the column names are the same. So here in the cursor, I think I can do move to first, exactly. So before that, you need to do move to first in here. And after moving to the first, you can use the cursor. Since the year is an int, I'm have to get an int. And yeah, here we need to pass the index. So it is zero, one, two, three, yeah, three. And it needs, it's not an array equal, it's just an equal of zero. And the test should fail. I want it to fail, so let's put it one here. Exactly, it's not working fine. What happened? Expected one, but zero. Exactly, this is the exact thing we are trying to search for. So that way you can see that the test will pass. You may tell that you are using a lower level version of cursor and stuff, but that's perfectly fine for testing purposes. We are not coupling anything from the test into the implementation details, so that's perfectly fine. And that would work fine, especially that we have low level ability to do whatever we want, select things, do normal SQL thing, can do whatever you want with SQL. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope this was beneficial to you, the way you perform tests on your migrations using the room. As I said, you have the power of SQL. You can do whatever you want with SQL. You can test complex migrations and you can write also complex migrations. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.